Well, I think it's a very ambitious film. I think Chris Nolan tried to pull off a, a multi-dimensional narrative set within the, the subconscious of the human mind and also provide a, an extremely entertaining thriller in a grand Hollywood scale. But also, you know, and you're dealing with surreal worlds here. You're dealing with surreal worlds and, you know, almost an ex existential film at times. But at the same time, you're very deeply rooted in these characters' journeys to come to terms with the truth of their past and, and accomplish this, this underlying goal that they have. And my goal in the movie is to get back home to my family. I mean, I'm in the black market of, of the dream world. Uh, my, my job is to infiltrate people's minds, extract information, and here we are trying to pull off this grand scale idea of planting something in somebody's mind. So I'm assembling a team of people to do that. And I think the audience is with all these characters on that journey. They're experiencing these experiences with them for the first time. And that's what Chris Nolan managed to do in a plot structure that makes it engaging for an audience. Well, we worked very hard on it. I mean, um, a lot of the visual stuff, a lot of the concepts that Chris wanted to pull off in this, in this film were things we didn't really argue with him about. I mean, obviously, the guy's got a great track record. He's done amazing work in the past. He's pulled off concepts like this and made them digestible for an audience. So our job really was to have one-on-one -on -one interactions with him to try to create interesting characters and create characters that had emotional weight to them and give, you know, certainly for me, give my character a real cathartic journey and a character that comes to terms with who he really is. So in a way, it was like a giant, I looked at it like a giant therapy session for my character this whole journey. I, 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 I think it's very difficult to put an exact science on in the dream world. I think obviously there are things that we repress in our emotions, thoughts that we have in life, concepts, you know, fears that submerge during that state of dreaming, that unconscious world. And to put exact, an exact, you know, um, science on it is very difficult. And I tried to do the traditional sort of approach to this movie where I was you know, reading up on dream, dream analysis and the meanings of it. And at the end of the day, this is a very specific dream world that's in the mind of Chris Nolan. So all the research came from the creative talks with him and it had to be looked at in a different way. Well, we, we sort of expected the unexpected every day on set. I mean, we knew that there were these grand ideas that he wanted to pull off. But what's really interesting about Chris is, and I remember having, meeting him years and years ago, um, you know, he likes to put cultural references or things that we, we kind of understand in the world that we live in into science fiction. So you're never truly, truly detached from what you see. And... And, and Chris likes to be on real locations. He likes to redress the sets um, according to what he wants it to look like visually. So there wasn't a lot of green screen. There wasn't a lot of things that made us feel like we weren't really there. We were, we were in these real places around the world, and, 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 we felt, and it helps us as actors. It really grounds you.